Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And as you see from the title above and from my very full basket, we have a lot of empties to share with you. It is Easter Sunday. I hope you guys had a great Easter. I hope you had a great March. I had a very great and busy March and I want to start April 1st with a clean basket. So in order to do that, I have to sit down and film a what I've been warming and what I have been burning video with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with candles, I finished from Yankee Candle Fluffy Towels. Now I actually have two of these. It's funny, I started two of these I, at the same time in my living room and this one finished this morning and the other one I'm still burning has like probably like an eighth of the candle left, but it's crazy how they were both started at the same time and how just depending on where they were located in my room burned differently. But anyway, I burned one in my living room and one in my dining room. And to be honest, I got a great throw from this. For one, I got an incredible performance, super clean. Now, these are the signature or the classic, sorry, the classic large jars, which is 100% paraffin wax. But if I put an alumilid on here and put it in a hurricane, it does perform really well for me. This one was not in a hurricane, though. This was just on my coffee table. And I love fluffy towels. Fluffy towels is such a classic Yankee candle. If you know, you know. It's clean. It's fresh. Fresh laundry without being like an over artificial, like you put too much laundry detergent or fabric softener in your laundry. It was great. I love fluffy towels. I would repurchase it. Kringle needs to make a dupe of this fluffy towels. And I would stock up on it because let me tell you. It's my favorite. Favorite, I will always repurchase that. Next, I finished from Matt Matthews Candles. I finished When That Thang Gets a Thang In, which is Vanilla AF. This is 100% soy wax candle. Performed really great for me. Now, what was nice about this candle was because it was just vanilla, I burned this a lot when I melted a lot of wax as like a background fragrance. I did do this a couple times in my bedroom. Every time I got great performance. Vanilla naturally isn't going to be a super strong, like knock you over the head fragrance. But what I noticed with it, it was, it was just a nice background vanilla. Now it's not a super bakery vanilla. It's more of like a vanilla essence or a vanilla extract type of fragrance. I love it. And his candles always perform great for me. The residue on the side is just something that naturally happens with 100% soy wax, but his candles perform super great for me. I actually just ordered one from the new spring line in his creamy strawberry scent. So very excited to try that one. I never thought this candle would be in an empties video, you guys. This is Slow Burn from Casey Musgraves with Boy Smells. Hot Mess Express in the in the jar. This is, does it tell you how many ounces is on here? It doesn't, but oh, 27. This is a 27 ounce candle. I do not like Boy Smells candles. I don't like the way they burn. I don't like the way they perform. I will say though, this three wick did really give me a great throw. Performance wise, after an hour, this thing was a sooty mess. I felt like it, I mean, again, if you want a candle to last forever, these Magnum candles from Boy Smells really are great. This is a collaboration candle with the singer Casey Musgraves. I have no desire to listen to her music. She does nothing for me. But there is a new fragrance, Deeper Well, which is, I guess, her new album. Also in collaboration with Boy Smells. Boy Smells is a luxury home fragrance company. But I loved this scent. This was great to burn on really cold evenings. Notes of incense, black pepper, elemi, gayak wood, raspberry, tonka, amber, and smoked papyrus. This was a smoky and incensey, really warm and cozy fragrance, like a like a cozy fire type of scent. So I did really enjoy the fragrance. I don't repurchase anything from Boy Smells. I don't like the performance of their candles, I've said before, but I did finish this one. And despite having insane wicks, and yeah, obviously it looks crazy now because I just let it burn and then I moved it once it extinguished itself into the office. 
and the wicks just slid. So it was not like that when it was burning. But yeah, I, I'm just not a fan of the brand. So I wish their candles performed better for me. All right, and now on to Kringle. Now, I am a Kringle candle ambassador. I do like to express that, but these were all paid for with my own money. So just wanted to put that out there, but I do earn a commission if you use my link. This is the Lemon Sugar Marshmallows from Easter. I just finished this one up the other day, as well as the Two Wick and Easter Chicks. It is the same fragrance. Now, I don't lie. I show you guys the insides of the jars. They become sooty towards the end because... I actually just was watching my friend Katie over Katie's Joyful Life on YouTube. I love her. Also a fellow Kringle ambassador. And she says this too, like, when you get to the bottom of a tumbler, it's just naturally going to get sooty because it has to travel all this way. It's going to happen. I mean, unless you burn this for like one hour at a time, you won't get it. But towards the end of the burn on these candles, you will get a little bit of soot. And that, it just happens. Now, I will say... This is an incredible fragrance. If you like sweet, sugary, marshmallowy, lemon bakery fragrances, this is for you. Combined, I got an incredible, almost overwhelming strong throw in my living room. I had this in my dining room and this in my living room. This extinguished, obviously, first, it's a lot smaller. But I continued to burn this in my dining room and still had a great scent experience. So I was very happy. The Kringle 100% Soy Wax burns so great for me. So this will be a repurchase next year. The label is adorable. And then same with this guy. Burned down completely. No problems there. Now, yeah, I'm an ambassador. I don't love everything. I did not love this. It was my birthday on March 11th. I was not in town for my birthday week, but before my birthday and when I came back, I was working on the birthday candle from the Three Wick launch. If you remember this candle, this was one of those launches where all the scents seemed to be repackages of a lot of things whenever they came to fruition. And this one is a dupe of vanilla cone. And the notes read powdered sugar, vanilla, butter, caramel, homemade waffles, and milk. I'll be honest, I got a burnt scent from this when I was burning it. It burned great all the way down, no issues as always with the Kringle candles, but I did not like the scent that it gave out when it was burning. It gave like a burnt buttered waffle cone, almost like it's been left in the waffle iron for too long. And I don't know, it just, it was not as incredible for me. And I feel like these three wet candles burn pretty hot. So it's almost like this probably would perform better in a two wick. I don't notice any of those like burnt smelling scents from the two wicks. Now, not all three wicks do that. I'm burning the eucalyptus and cotton now. It'll probably, it'll probably be in my next empties video performing great and I don't get that burning scent at all but I think when you get to the bakeries and you're burning it it's a hotter burn you're gonna get a little bit of that that burnt scent so for that I was not a fan otherwise it did perform really really great for me as far as wax goes I got through a lot of wax I got through the Looney Tunes bar from Scentsy I have two of these they do have the flat bottom so I wanted to use them up um it was fine it was a fruity scent like almost like a like a sour candy type of fruitiness i have one more i got these in a flash sale it's not a repurchase for me oh let's say oh did i really i did three looney tunes bars oh wow i must really have wanted to try the scent i'm trying to find the matches here all right this is coming back in bring my pipe or in july Buzzworthy. I love Buzzworthy. This is not in my club, but believe you me, in July when it comes back, it is going in my club. Now, these have Scentsy Scent of the Month stickers on them. These are old bars. I actually got these on the Scentsy Black Market. If you looked at the color of this wax, it is dark yellow. And let me tell you, these are a pain in the you-know-what to clean out of your warmers when they're done. Every time I melt this scent, Okay, it's a it's an amazing scent. I know a lot not a lot of people like it. You either love Buzzworthy or you hate Buzzworthy. It is this really creamy, almost like a spiced honey scent, but don't think of it as like a cinnamon or like a pepper. It's almost just like a warm spiced 
honey and vanilla. I love it. It performs so strong for me. Lasts for a couple days. But oh Lord, when you clean the warmers out with this, it is the most disgusting like residue. And I'm almost wondering if it's just because the bars are old. So believe me, when I get the kit in July for the new scents, I'm going to melt it and see how that performs in my warmers. If it doesn't perform that way, I know it's just the old bars and I have like 20 of these. So I definitely want to work through my Buzzworthy bars, but it just leaves this sticky, goopy residue. Once you clean out the warmers, I use the hot method to clean out the Buzzworthy. It works the best. I take the cotton ball, soak up the wax, because those new cotton cleanups are a waste of money. They're terrible. Terrible, bring back the larger size. They don't even soak up, like, Scentsy's on this thing where, I mean, they've always been, but at the bottom, <coughs> show you right here. Oh, this is a pretty dirty bottom of a dish, but on the bottom of the dish, there is a number. So, right here, number four. Scentsy says that is the ideal number of cubes to melt the scent for optimal use. If I put four cubes in here, one of those cotton cleanups doesn't even soak it up. So now I have half of this cotton cleanup that I'm gonna use for this one and then transport it to another one. Just buy $2 cotton balls from the grocery store, soak up your wax and call it a day. It works so much better than the Scentsy branded one. And that's coming from a consultant. I, I just don't think they're worth the money. Anyway, it leaves a sticky residue and sometimes even leftover cotton. Add a splash of isopropyl alcohol into the bottom of the dish. Wipe it out with a cotton ball. It comes out super clean. But just be prepared. You do have to clean your warmer dishes after you use Buzzworthy. All that said. <laughs> Next, I actually have this going now for Easter. Candy Orchard in my warmers. And this, I have like eight from the um, scent of the month kit. It's fine. It's like a sweet candy scent with like a hint of caramel. It's nothing really to write home about. It's fine. I'll melt it. It's not super, super strong. It's just like a nice background scent. I Pick You. I did this one in my bathroom. And this is another thing with the new Scentsy bars. There's wax left over in the corners. They never used to do that. I don't know why there's, there's wax in the corner of the bars. And believe me, I keep my place very cold. I get hot very easily, so it's not that the bars are old and uh, sweaty. This was fine. It was like a floral, like a fruity floral, a hint of a powderiness at the end. It's not in my club. It was part of the Valentine's Day collection. It was fine in the bathroom. Oh, this is so gross. Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo, but I do not like Sensi's Palo Santo. Mm -mm. It's like black pepper, like ground black pepper. It doesn't smell like Palo Santo wood at all. I did this in my bedroom. I actually just did two warmers of the four in my bedroom. Four cubes, four cubes. It wasn't super strong, which is really crazy in my small bedroom. But what I could smell, I did not like. Next, next, next. Did I have two of these or just one? Yeah, two of these. Hot take. Caramel praline cake. I didn't like it. This was from the holiday collection, Sense of the Season. As weird as this sounds, I get like a pickle note. I don't know why. I, I've never seen anybody say that, but I get a hint of like a pickle juice. I, I don't know. It's strange. But it also just wasn't strong whenever I melted it. I don't get that all the time. But like sometimes when I smell it a little bit in the background, I get a pickle juice note. But yeah, it just did not perform that well for me. So that was a miss. Follow the Rainbow. This was from the St. Patrick's Day collection. I don't believe you can get this anymore. I did this in my bedroom. Clamshell broke. Very strong. Very fruity. Lasted a couple days. But it was nothing to write home about. I feel like I've said this before. This time of the year is really hard to find great scents with Scentsy. Because they're all just fruits. It's all just another fruit blended with another fruit blended with another fruit. Like this new Sunshine Mango for, Mar for April... I'll try a bar, like I'll get one bar in my club or add it to an order, but that's it. Like, it's not one that I'm like clamoring to get like certain ones are. Now, there's some exceptions, like that Shamrock Splash is really great from February. I really liked that, but 
like this, it was fine. It was nice. I had a great, every time I walked into my bedroom, it was strong. It lasted a couple days in my bedroom. It was a great fruity scent, but it is nothing like remarkable or memorable that I would need to keep getting it because I feel like fruity scents are fruity scents. Now, one day I woke up and it was snowing and I was like, oh, what am I going to melt? Random homestead holiday. I know totally not in my wheelhouse for this time of year. I am a seasonal melter. However, it was just the vibe and it was a great vibe. I really liked this. This is like a spiced orange scent, a little bit of clove, really, really holiday. And it felt a, it felt great to put PJs on, watch some movies and watch it snow outside. I mean, the snow lasted literally the day and it was gone. But while it was snowing outside, I was melting Homestead Holiday and it felt great in my face. And then last, yep, last Scentsy. Oh, okay. Strawberry Sweetie. I did not, this prime example, I did not add this to my club. It's okay. I'm not going to cry about it. I have a couple bars from just orders. This was bringing back my bar in January. This is, oh my gosh, I feel like I have a piece of hair in my eye. Um, This was a nice strawberry on cold. It smelled like an artificial like strawberry lip gloss on cold. It was nice. It was fine. I'm melting this in my bedroom. It's not on right now because I'm burning a candle. But when I have this on, it's like this sour, sweet strawberry candy. Like, you know those hard strawberry candies that look like a strawberry? They were always in your grandma's purse. And they always had like a bit of juice in them whenever you bit into them. That's what this smells like. It's great. It's very happy. So I'm excited to continue to melt the bars. I'll enjoy it. Am I sad it's not in my club? No, because there's other strawberries from Scentsy that I love. Like, I wish Coastal Strawberry was in my club. I don't have any bars, I don't think. If I do, I have like one or two. But that was one that I really loved. So, yeah, I'm pretty sad that I don't have that in my club. I'm not sad that I don't have this in my club. It's not my favorite strawberry, but it surprised me as one I really enjoyed. Sticking with Scentsy, I finished a Washer Whiffs in Fall Into Love. You know, this scent is in my club. I absolutely love it. Love the Washer Whiffs. Totally not what I would expect to like based on the scent notes, like it's eucalyptus and... I forget even all the things that are in here, but I absolutely love it. So in my club, I have a few backups of this. So really enjoy that washer with. Sticking with home fragrance, I did some Candles by Victoria scent shots. I did Tokyo Spring. Everything that's a vendor now, which is really only Candles by Victoria and a few fantasy wax, I just pop it in a warmer, the whole thing in my bathroom and let it go for a couple days and change it out. Are you like me? I don't like to change out my wax, which is kind of why I like Scentsy. You don't have to change it out that often. It's just like, ugh, it's such a pain to go around all the warmers. I'm not lazy by any means. I go to the gym. I work out. I work like I'm not lazy, but it's just something that I just don't like. It's just, it's easier to just like this, light a candle and call it a day. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let me know if you feel like that. Like changing out your wax is just so annoying. I wish it was quicker. You know what I mean? But Tokyo Spring, it was nice. It was like a fruity floral, fresh scent for my bathroom. I, do I have some wax residue on here. Pink and lime. If you want to order from Candles by Victoria and you don't know what to order, pink and lime. Pink and lime, pink and lime, pink and lime. It's pink sugar and lime. It's the best combo. It lasted for days. Every time I went in the bathroom, I just wanted to stay in there. I love this. I need to order this in bigger sizes from her. Love pink and lime. Another one I love, white nectarine and pink coral. Same type of vibe. Really fresh, really fruity, just tropical. I love, and it performs really great for me as well. Last Candles by Victoria, Cajun Cornbread. I actually did this in my kitchen. It's peach jam and cornbread. So good. When I first heard Cajun, this is an older scent, so I've had it for a long time. Not this particular one, but I've melted it a bunch of times. It's great. I was really nervous, but it is. It's like a homemade peach jam on a buttery piece of cornbread, and it is so great, so comforting. Uh, Victoria, actually, she has a great TikTok lately. 
She's been posting a lot of really cool like Sunday morning resets where she puts all the new scent, scent shots throughout her house. And she said, this is her happy scent. And I could see that every time I melt this in my house, I just feel happy. So really enjoyed that one. Are these different? Oh no, they're the same. Lemon pound cake from Fantasy Wax. I did these in warmers around the house when I was burning the Kringle as I drop it, lemon to just lemon up and amplify the house. And it was pretty great. I have a mahogany vanilla wallflower going in my entryway, which just finished up and I replaced it with Lakeside Morning. Both great scents. I love Lakeside Morning. I finished a hand soap in warm vanilla sugar. Such a classic. I do prefer the gels over the foams, but I finished the foam. I finished from Sunday Riley, the Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. Uh, you can see a little bit left, but not enough to wash my face. The Blue Tansy Oil in here is just great. If you wear sunscreen, which you should be, if you wear makeup, anything, using a cleansing balm as your first step at night before you wash your face just to take everything off and go in and double cleanse with a cleanser. Highly recommend. Love Sunday Riley. Love Blue Moon. I also finished the Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. I get in this habit with my skin where I just want to try everything that's new and then I rupture my skin barrier and then I have to work overtime to repair it. So I'm in a reparative state right now and I love the Ceramide Moisturizer from Sunday Riley. It's expensive. You don't need to spend this much money on a moisturizer, but it was enjoyable. Another moisturizer that I just loved is from Skin Rocks, which is Caroline Hyren's brand. I love her products. She even puts how much to use on the top. This is her fragrance-free moisturizer. Um, I'm smelling it. There is no scent. This is great. Using the AM and PM, applying after treatment steps. If using any AM, follow with sun protection. Love. I'm started, I'm actually working on a new one right now for the day use. Love, 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 love Skin Rocks. I finished the Kerastase 2% Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is a hair serum. I use it before I blow dry my hair. Already repurchased it. Really love it. Helps keep the blonde super, super shiny and fresh. And then I finished a little uh, half ounce bottle of Luna Sleeping Night Oil. I got away from uh, retinols for a long time, and anytime I do and I want to get back into it, I always use Luna because it's a trans retinol ester in an, in an oil, so it's a little bit calmer, a little bit gentler on the skin, but I finished this, and now I want to go into, I have the Skin Rocks retinol, so I want to try that one out, but... Wow, I kept that under 25 minutes. My bin is empty and ready to reset. Let me know what you guys finished in March, what your highlight was, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye.